For Honor is known as the number one game to have the ability to make you rage like never before. This game has one of the most unique combat systems where you get to fight as your favorite historical characters, fully immersing yourself as a warrior in the battlefield and experiencing what it's like to be in the battlegrounds. Its own community has had many strong opinions as to why they love and hate this game. And after 7 years of being out, I'm gonna be exploring the brutal state of For Honor. <laughs> Can we do it again? Oh. <laughs> Look, he's saying wow because he's so impressed with my skillful gameplay. Fucking idiot. Oh, fuck. Did he just kill his own teammate? Sing! 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 Oh no! Yeah, boy. Now it's my turn. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, what the shite? Where did that come from? How did he reach me all the way up there? Hello, motherfucker. Headshot. Alright, Ubisoft just dropped a huge update with this game mode. So can someone explain to me why this has low activity and is taking me a long time to find a match? Apparently, they made a new 1v1v1 game mode that calls back to the trailer footage of the three factions fighting each other. So to give you guys the quickest for honor lore, there was this massive earthquake that wiped out the lands of the knights, vikings, and samurais. And apparently, the only source of water they had was from this random ass puddle in the middle of nowhere. And instead of sharing the water evenly, the obvious solution was to fight to the death and cause a thousand years of war. Generations after generations, we couldn't find another water source. Which is why we still battle and fight for water. And then the Aztecs, Egyptians, and pirates came over because it seems like they also didn't have water. And now we all emote spam and say the most horrendous things to each other. There you go, For Honor Lore. Oh, and look at that. I was able to explain the entire story of this game before I even found a match. Perfect timing. All right, you guys already know that I'm part of the Knights faction, so we gotta stay loyal and represent the Knights. Which is why I'm gonna be using Peacekeeper. Now let's see which team they're on. Oh gosh, they're both Vikings. I don't like how I'm the only knight here. Look at the way they're staring at me. They're like, oh, a poor little girl who wandered into the wrong neighborhood. It also doesn't help that I'm the only knight here. All right, first game. Let's go. I'm not afraid. Let's do this. Look at these barbaric fools fighting their own kind like animals. They don't have honor like us. You guys don't deserve the water. I'm taking this for the knights and bringing it back to the holy land. Deus Vault. Yo, I also went for an attack but he did it before me. Well, it's not a For Honor game without some toxicity. Oh blob, they're all coming for me now. Guys, please. I'm just a poor little girl who wanted some water. Do I really need to die because of that? I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Watch out, watch out. 
<laughs> he got debated so badly. I'm him! I'm actually him! <laughs> what is even going on right now? Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> I'm the main character! You can't hit me! Bait the dodge. Oh, get your baited. You've done goofed up. I am two steps ahead of you. Well, even after seven years with all the updates and the players that come and go, there will always be one thing that remains. Toxic players. All right, I want to do a little challenge and do something incredible with this game mode. So you guys gotta stick around to see how far I'm able to go. So think about this. In the For Honor lore, which of these factions became victorious? What if the knights conquered the holy land? What if the samurais turned everyone into weebs? What if the vikings had won and had taken over the world? Oh wait, that's actually canon because they've literally won every faction war over the last 7 years. But what if the Wu Lin and the Outlanders were actually there to fight? Well, the goal is to win a game with each of these factions, but I can only choose one character, and I only have one shot and one opportunity to win the game until I move on to the next faction. First off, Samurais. Holy crap, I'm dodging everything like a true samurai in an anime. Except I'm only playing like a newbie kensei who just dodge attacks every two seconds. <laughs> the fact that I killed him with my dodge attack even though I wasn't locked onto him is just so stupid. Okay, what the hell was that? My block wasn't even blocking. I have a feeling we're not gonna win as a samurai on this one. Dodge? Dodge? <laughs> this guy has been eating my dodge attacks left and right. Oh, look at that prediction! You guys gotta watch that back. She was waiting to strike on me while I was on the other guy. Little did she know that penguins had ultra instincts. <laughs> I like how I'm slowly chipping away this ocelot even though I'm not purposely trying to hit him. Like I'm over here just vibing, minding my own business, and then he just walks in and gets hit without me even noticing. Oh my days, why is it so hard to block this character? It's like she has a secret spell within her movesets where she can just remove my block. Bro, this character is so annoying. Hey, yo, she's hitting me with them gang signs. Bro thinks she's in Naruto. What the hell was that execution? She started throwing up gang signs that captured me like a Pokemon. Oh well, that's it for the Samurais, I guess. Remember, I can only go through each faction once, so let's move on to the next one to see which factions I'm truly the best at. Oh crap, we all chose characters that uses a shield. I guess it's time to find out which one of us is the best shield wielder in the land of honor. Or lack of honor to be honest. I just want to remind you guys that I do have the biggest shield in the game, okay? You don't want to mess with me. I got the power of God and anime on my side. Hey! No one's allowed to shield bash except me. This whole match is just gonna be us shield bashing and turtling. Oh, 
Oh, that combo was so odd, profound. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, wait. Can we get a like on this video just for that edit? I was looking through my music files to figure out which song to use and the music just had the perfect timing for every attack I made. I don't usually ask for likes but literally every attack was perfectly on sync with the beat. Like I didn't even plan this, it, it, it just all happened accidentally. But yeah, just go, go, continue on the video. Yo, the shield bash of course. Come on, Warlord, you got this. Is he gonna get the comeback? He's slowly chipping her out. He's fighting until... Okay. This is the end. Wow, who would have thought? The new hero gets the win because Ubisoft makes them OP every time they come out. Congratulations Virangian, you have officially become the best shield wielding character. And wow, you get the chance to win the water and you decide to step on it? Look how high level they are. I can't imagine being a new player in this game mode. You're just gonna be that rep 1 noob being sandwiched by rep 70 veterans who's addicted to this game. I feel so underdressed. They're like 90 levels more than me with cool armor, and all I got is a poorly made penguin from Adventure Time. Let's go, taking in round 1. Ooh, that was nice. I'm hitting them but they can't hit me. What's going on guys? Dang, I'm kinda going crazy right now. I'm going crazy right now! Huh? Huh? Wait, what am I doing? What, what am doing? I doing? What, what doing? am I actually doing? Oh my days, what was that? That was the biggest throw in the entire century. You stupid donut, what are you doing, penguins? Alright, I'm losing grip. My mindset wasn't the same after that last round. Guys, I think I figured out a way on how to finesse the system on this game mode. You just gotta sit back, let them fight each other, and wait for the perfect time to strike. Like now! Oh, he's him! Yup, I can't help you there, mate. I ain't doing all that. Ooh, okay. Oh my glob! Am I the only person who can't block in this game? I could have gotten us another round if I didn't fail at parry. Look at this guy. Thinks he's all cool. Yeah, I am pretty cool. Well, you're not, because you're the ugliest character in the game. Okay, I know I said I can only play each faction once, but I don't give a flying duck anymore, alright? I'm tired of losing! If I don't win a single match in this game mode within the video, you can dislike the video, okay? We're playing against a bot, and I'm gonna be a cheeky little bastard and win this easy match for the knights. <laughs> look, look at the way me and this guy are looking at each other. You thinking while I'm thinking? Jump the bot? We're gonna jump that bot. Wait, is he a gladiator? He is! Oh, we're about to end this man's whole career. No, teammate, kill him! He's so close to dying. Please don't choke. Oh my god. He had one HP left. How did you lose to a bot? How? How did we lose to a bot? There's no shot we were that dog water to still lose to an AI. This is even more embarrassing that we lost to a gladiator. Like out of all the characters, this, this is just a new low for me. I swear level 3 bots are the scariest to go against. 
that bot wasn't being trapped by us. We were the ones trapped with him. Okay, I'm here in Dominion because I just needed a break from the last few terrible matches. So here's the plan. I'm gonna practice playing Dom to get ready for the last free-for-all match. Because if I don't win one, then you guys can leave a dislike on the video. And what better way to practice 1v2s than in Dominion, right? I also got a farm video playing on my other monitor to maximize my gameplay. Jeez, this guy came out of nowhere. Bro tried to jump scare me. Be gone, demon. Go back from whence you came. And yoink, liver stab of peace. A British man taught me that move. You know what? I honestly feel like the new free fall game mode shouldn't just be a seasonal thing. I'm gonna make a petition that everyone can sign for those who want the game mode to be permanent. We need Ubisoft to hear us. Everyone put a like on this video so that Ubisoft can see this. Or else we'll go on strike. Bro, can you stop? What are you doing, mate? I hate gladiators so much. This guy plays like an actual bot. And I'm not talking about those cracked out bots. I'm saying this guy plays like a brain dead NPC. Dang, that was kind of clean. I'm popping off right now. I'm hauling ass. Wombo combo. Got him. Hit him, teammate. Yeah, look at that teamwork. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh my god, he's back. And he gave him revenge. Are you serial? Can we replace this gladiator with the bot we just fought last round? I would rather have a level 3 bot in our team than an actual bot in our team, you know? Oh no, we were doing so good. Me and my teammate had insane synergy there. Our minds were connected. Holy crap. What's with all these jump scares? They keep popping out of nowhere. Okay, it's a 1v2 situation, boys. This is what I've been practicing for. This moment will determine whether I'm ready or not. I'm going sicko mode. It's time to prove myself that I can clutch a 2v1. Jeez, they really want to throw me off the ledge. Come here, mom! Nope. I don't know how that hit him, but I'm completely fine with that. There you go, nice. Yeah, buddy. Get this shit ah, there's no hope for you. You can't stop the keeper of peace. Liver stab of peace. Yeah, I did it. I finally got a clutch moment. Having a farm video on my other monitor really helped out. Fight. 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 I'd screw you. Kamikaze! <laughs> Hello there. Look at this creep just watching us. Protect me, Conqueror. I'll stand behind you. What? How'd he even hit me from the back? Conqueror's hitbox is so broken. I'm telling you, having a wide hitbox will be so useful in the new game mode. Check this out. Now that I think about it, I feel like Conqueror would do really good in the free-for-all. What do you guys think? I might go with him because I haven't used him yet, and I kind of want to get to use like a variety of heroes for this vid. Alright, I'ma head out. I have no health whatsoever. I'm leaving. You'll never see me again. Psych. The fuck you say to me? Okay, okay, I'm going. Kamikaze! Burn! One must wreak havoc in order to keep the peace. Shank! Then another shank! <laughs> uh oh, they're ganking me! Guys, we don't have to do this! You don't know who you're going against! Rah, you fools! I am Ferrum's number one viewer. I have studied the art of clutch moments. There is no hope for you. 
Yes! I did it! I survived two 1v2s during this match. I redeemed myself! I am now ready to fight for water once again. I can feel the power of Farim coming inside me. Hey, Alright boys, we're back in the battlefield and I made up my mind. I'm gonna yeah, be using boy. Conqueror because I just found out last game how hey, broken his hitbox is. And he's also a knight, which means if we do get the win, I can fulfill the triumphant victory for the knights. And look at this, it's a battle between the knights, vikings, and samurais. I must win this fight, I have a duty to bring the water back to the holy land. This is just like the trailer. Take this! Wow. Oh, free heavy. Nice, that was a great hit. Okay, he's open. Oh, look at that hitbox. This character has such a great hitbox. And it seems like I'm not the only one who has it. Okay, one down. Oh crap, he both goofed up. Oh god, please don't. I swear, if I choke this, I literally only have to hit him once. Oh, okay, thank you. I was getting kinda nervous there. We got the first round. I got this. Things are getting stressful now. I'm on the lead, so they might try to take me out first. Which means I gotta work harder to stay alive. Wait, I think my attack also ended up hitting the Kensei. Ah, oh, he caught me with the little target switcheroo there. I feel like I should let them fight each other to even out the health. This is anyone's match right here. One wrong move and we're dead. Oh! No, I whiffed it! Yes! Finally! Yes! The one and only time I didn't miss a parry at such a crucial moment. I am so happy I got that. After all those moments my blocks didn't work, I finally got a parry. Okay, the stress is getting higher. I got two wins on the board, so they're likely gonna team up on me. Free heavy! Ooh, that was crazy! j j j baited Got him! Hey, I did it again! At this point, I want them to hit me. I can counter them anytime. Alright, Kensei's out. Now I just need a game-ending combo to finish him out. Uh-oh. Fainted? Fainted again? And we got the win! Give me that three-win streak! I've done it! I finally got a victory! We won the water! It is ours! Knights for the win! I will bring this water back to the Holy Land and share it with my brothers in Christ. For the glory, for honor, and most importantly, for water. Honestly, this game is still a lot of fun. It actually has a dedicated player base and still keeps on getting new updates constantly. If you can look past the toxicity and the cheesy rage that people play, then this game can be addicting. It's like drugs. You know it's bad for you, but you just can't seem to stop. And it's the same way with For Honor, because it is pretty enjoyable. Never mind, this game sucks.